<laughs> so Mary's like a very likable character, certainly more mm-hmm. so now than at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Considering her capability for coldness, let's yes. say, what is it do you think that makes her so likable? Well, I think people enjoy possibly watching her mistakes sure. and yeah. watching her mess up and uh, she makes her incredibly human, I think. I think that goes, you know, to say for a lot of the characters in Downton that, you know, they're not just black and white, you know, the same with Thomas, you know, yeah. Yeah. he behaves the way he does because of, you know, what's going on emotionally and, you know, the issues that he has in, in yeah. his life and, and the audience understand that. And I guess we see her increasingly vulnerable probably actually at different yeah, times. Yeah, at different times and especially in series two and four, they were kind of, she was when she was at her most vulnerable. And I like seeing her get, build her strength back up again for series four, like the end of four and five. And this year I thought, I wonder what he could possibly do for the character this time, you know, other than, you know, hopefully find the right man again and, you know, the person that she's going to marry. Um, and then, you know, Julian brilliantly sort of shoehorns in this storyline, which I wasn't expecting. Um, and it explores this whole other side of Mary. She actually becomes quite a coward in this series. Um, and uh, she behaves badly, you know, which I love. I love it when she's behaving badly. I guess um, it's more fun to act. Yeah, it's more fun, <laughs> it's more fun. Um, <clears throat> It, yeah, it keeps you keeps you busy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, I mean, yeah, talking about some of the struggles that Mary's gone through, she's been like probably closer to people who've died more so than anyone else. Yeah, I um, guess so. Which of those deaths do you think was the most influential in her character? Well, I think I think uh, you know losing a sister, of course, is one thing. But the thing about Matthew is that he. He changed her in a lot of ways. He kind of saw the be- saw the good in her, and therefore brought out, I think, the best the best Mary, really. And so, like she says in series four, he, you know, it's almost like she's mourning the person that she was when she was with him. So he was a big influence on her, and I think what continues is throughout this series, particularly, is that she's she's almost trying to do good by him so that when she behaves badly it's like she she's feels she needs down. his forgiveness sure yeah. okay um yeah talking about Mary and her sisters I guess fairly pioneering women in mm. different ways yeah Sybil in a more obvious way I yep. guess Mary probably in the least obvious that's way. true yeah but what which of those do you most identify with out of the three of them it's very true I think you've You've nailed it, actually, because they're so—they're all so different in in their, um, you know, this this kind of modern woman. They're but all they're all very different. And what's really great about this series is that Edith and Mary—it's almost like their lives run parallel, but it's town and country because okay. yeah, yeah. Mary's city, yeah. yeah, Mary's you know running running the show. I mean, she's running the house really, which you know. So Edith gets as far away from her as possible because it's, you know, it can get more irritating for her than Mary running the house. And then, of course, Edith's got this wonderful life and responsibility and, you know, she's a boss. She's running her own business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, uh, but as you say, it's, it's, it's subtle. It's not... Very subtle and very realistic, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think what, what I love about Mary is that she sort of represents women as, you know, how complicated we can be. And that, you know, you feel something one day and then you don't the next. Yeah. And it's, yeah. you know, we can be irrational. Particularly and with can, the whole, you know, scandal storyline. Like, yeah, 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 we can be strong, we can be weak. You know, it's a, it's a whole, you know, this complexity I've loved playing. Yeah. What do you, last question, what do you want for Mary going forward? Do you, do you think her, it matters that she meets someone? I or? think it's... Uh, I think really it's finding happiness in herself ultimately. That's what I've learned is that the character needs to find some sort of peace with herself before she can actually, you know, give her heart to someone. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.